So my name is Carl Sims, and I am interested in making pictures with computer code starting well, a little bit in high school even, but then at uh, Architecture Machine Group, before it became the Media Lab, as an undergrad, I was a year up. So these are the inchworms, and it's using inverse kinematics control their two feet, essentially. So the feet were animated uh, automatically to, to take new positions on the stairs. This looks quite primitive these days by today's standards, but it was, you know, it took a while to render each frame back then. When I was needing some sound effects for the inchworms, I, you know, I was in a hurry to do something, and I just, you know, recorded myself going But then the trick was it was sped up and slowed down a little bit, so the smaller inchworms were sounding higher pitched, and the larger ones were sounding lower pitched. And these are simple quadrupeds on a rough terrain, so their height is a function of the I mean, this, this polygonal object and they're, they're, again their feet are animated to match the height of the terrain. And then this is a very elementary physics simulation of these polyhedra dropping on a plane and, and bouncing. The code is simulating 3D physics a little bit, it's not 100% accurate. You need to simulate physics, and then the control system needs to have a good idea of what's going to happen so that it can have balance and have, you know, the right forces acting on all the muscles that create the right forces on the feed so that the creature doesn't topple over. If you use real physics and you use forces that are reasonably realistic, then it should look more natural. Virtual creatures evolution, and that was a bit of a research project, but it did end up in an animation as well. And, and in this case, 3D physics simulation combined with machine learning, so using simulated Darwinian evolution of not just the creature's bodies, but also the creature's control system. So you could get these blocky creatures would struggle to move, so they were rewarded for their ability to locomote somehow or other and they had to evolve their own control systems in order to do it within this physics simulation. So it's, it's similar in some ways to LLMs, but very different in other ways. It definitely involved machine learning, but instead of trying to optimize a million weights on neural connections, it was using random mutations and selections to evolve a neural net. So it was a more complicated functionally, but it was simpler topographically than what you're seeing with, with LLMs. The Media Lab is great for letting people do whatever they're really into in general. If you have a, a passion, you can normally find a way to do it there, which is wonderful. And that was true for me, certainly, even as a Europe.